my entire audience. I'll tell you that right now. Well, that's good news. That's good news. Who is your audience? Uh, my audience is veterans, first responders, and supporters of. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, I'm super passionate about working with those folks. Well, I, I got injured in the Army back in the day. I continued my career in policing and firefighting and then kind of retired just based off PTSD. But I like mm. to, to keep it moving forward, especially when I do the bro show. It's all about the vets. So I'm on the Stack Up Veteran Stream Team, uh, the MBG Battle Buddy Team, and I'm the social media manager for About Turn Documentary, Veterans House Charity, and uh, the Disability Channel. So... That is so cool, Busy man. Guy. That is so cool. <laughs> were, you, were you in the Canadian Army then? Or? Yeah, infantry. Oh, wow. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it was Crazy. a good time. So what led you to write the song, Kickin' Stones? Oh, man. Kickin' Stones. Mm -hmm. It's got so much history. It's like it goes back to 1993. Okay. Believe it or not. And... Um, yeah, I was uh, my best friend Jeff. He was a drummer at the time. We had a deal with Paul Stanley from Kiss, and um, he walked in the studio. Like we we'd come back from LA. We'd done some recording down there. It didn't go well. Mm -hmm. I mean, the recording of the music went well, but the singer kind of shit the bed. Oh. And uh, so we came back, and we were you know regrouping and etc. And, and he um, hold on, the Star Child can't, didn't come out to save the day. <laughs> the star child was there i mean he was there to do what he was going to do but <laughs> but but you know we needed a we needed a new lead singer and and uh, and so we it was it was a van halen uh uh tribute band and inspired right mm -hmm. like that's how we started we started as a van halen tribute band and it kind of morphed into an uh, into an original band and um yeah anyways we were looking for a, a new david lee roth and you know I, I sort of, I sort of was filling those shoes at the time, mm -hmm. while we looked for this front man. Cause I was the bass player in the band, but I was also one of the main songwriters. And then one day, you know, Jeff, my, my best, best friend, the drummer, walks into the studio and he's got like a real sad look on his face. I'm like, ah, oh, dude, what's going on? He goes, it's over, man. I sent her down the road kicking stones. Ooh. And it just, you know, and and it just kind of opened something up for me and you know the loss of his loss so the song is about him it's about him mm -hmm. um and um but the loss of that what was happening with the record deal that's where that came from now in in 2016 he'd been struggling with cancer and uh just before christmas he ended up in a in a motel room um with an empty 60 pounder of vodka beside him and, mm -hmm. and uh, that's that's where we that's sort of how he checked out, and so the song's got got a, a you know some deep meanings all the way around. So he's expired but it is all, now, is it? He? He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. yeah I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. brother. Yeah, yeah, me too, me too. But um, I'm glad he's not suffering anymore. And but you know, this song's about loss. It's for sure. It's about loss, right? Yeah. And you know, now now I'm, I've taken it to you know to suicide prevention and mental health awareness, right? I mean. I work as a as a coach, as a life coach, mm -hmm. and uh, you know I'm a counselor for for a lot of folks, and I work a lot with uh, with mental health. So that song, in a lot of ways, is really an well, anthem. For and where that. it speaks to me is that I think you nailed it. You know, like you're not in it alone. Don't suffer in silence. Don't just mm -hmm. sit around kicking stones. Yeah. speak to somebody reach out you know and it, it, right. this the, the first time i heard that song i was like oh my god <laughs> like please please don't let me have to copyright and infringe on this song to get it on my show because <laughs> it, it speaks to everybody in my community everybody and in all the communities i'm attached to for sure that, that is beautiful that, and that's what that's what music is supposed to be it's supposed to be that that healing force and and that thing that that creates uh, you know great conversations right healing conversations yeah. that's what it's about oh yeah. agreed like the, the power of music to heal is paramount it, it's uh, it, it's a little bit greater than the power of laughter i find because music can really reach mm -hmm. your soul without having to connect on the content level like you don't even have to half the songs i love i don't know the lyrics to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know no absolutely 
Yeah, and I mean, you know, in, in the study of, of music, because uh, I'm a sound healer also, right? So in the study of music and frequency and vibration, mm -hmm. um, you know, this is this is where where things really, really hit on, on the subconscious, mm -hmm. um, you know. Now, do you the, use the 520 or the 528 hertz healing frequency in your songs at all? I, I, do, I do, I do, yeah, I do that. Um, my 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 um, my sound healing is kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. It um, it came actually from um, it came it was a message that came through from an ayahuasca journey. Okay. And um, so I mean I had the opportunity to do that, and and you know I was the message came through. You don't need to do this to have. You know to have this experience right you already know how to do this with sound you already know how to do this with sound and frequency really right and I said yeah just 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 listen to the sound of the planets was the message that came through like the sound of the planets i could not so i google more with that i i so i googled sound of the planets and as it turns out the voyager one and the voyager two have recorded all of the sounds of the planet.